Some may say that they are in the service of the Filipino people. Pero sa gitna ng sakuna, gusto nyo, kayo ang unahin namin kaso sa kababayan natin. E kayo nga isang dahilan kung bakit may mga isyo ang network na ito eh. Sa mata ng marami, klarong bias at pakikialam sa eleksyon na bawal sa atin batas ang ginawa ninyo at ginamit nyo yung network na ito. 2004, 2010, 2016, 2019. Tapos tatakpan nyo yan by saying it is against press freedom. Hindi po natin nilalahat ang mga journalist. Ngunit tulad din ng pagpapakita ninyo na ang lahat ng politiko ay korap, na lahat ng pulis ay abusado, damay-damay na ang buong institusyon sa maling gawain ng ito. So again, this may be a few bad eggs. But bakit po walang naging problema sa pagpasa ng franchise ng Channel 5? Bakit po walang naging problema sa pagpasa ng franchise ng Channel 7? Because wala pong tumayo at nagsabing nag-issues. If you take up, for example, Channel uh, 7, BCBB, no. now and then, si Egan, very popular broadcaster, criticizes me. But I have full respect for him. That's his opinion. But I never complained to management. Nung dumadaan yung franchise, I did not tell uh, Channel 7 when I was in the Senate, boss, nakikialam kayo sa eleksyon. Why? It was simply his opinion as a journalist. And if it's correct, magbabago ako, and kung mali, di ba? Then I would tell him, I disagree with you. And he'd invite me again to his show. But that was not the case with ABS-CBN. And we deserve a hearing to be able to hear that. Yes, it might be unfair to Carlo Katikbak and Mark Lopez, the new management, because this happened uh, ju during another era. No? But they're asking for a extension. Eh. They, they want a new franchise that will let them continue their media empire. Thus, accountability. Kung may negosyo po ako, pero yung negosyo ko po na yun may ginawang mali, eh binili na po ni DS Ani uh, Rani Abu ang negosyo na yun. Pag hinabol po ng BIR, hindi lang ako ang hahabulin, siya din, siya na may ari nung ano na yun eh, nung uh, negosyo na yun. So it might be unfair kung tinago ko sa yun, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker Abu, but you still have to face the consequences. So if the government is removing your license, you have to answer. No? And we have to see what are the reforms that you will put in place. Now, if the network is confident that mali, these are false accusations, misunderstandings, these are rumblings by some, many uh, of our kababayans, then let the people judge habang nagihiring po tayo. To the celebrities of ABS-CBN, Yes, marami kayong fans dito sa Congress. But please be reminded that loyalty to the company that has given you a good life is important. But you cannot cry injustice and blame public servants when you lose your paycheck or your show, yet not take notice of the fact, yes, the fact, that there are grave issues against your network. This include alleged violation, again, alleged violations, of labor laws, tax laws, and even constitutional law, even election laws. By all means, let your voices of support for your network be heard. By all means, sabihin natin sa kababayan ang mga magandang nagawa ng network. But if you really want to join the public debate, find it in your heart. Find it in your indignation to also support due process and fact-finding as the issue is imbued with public interest, not just your interest. I understand it's hard for any employee to speak to against the company that it serves. But there are employees who are speaking out against ABS. And this is the only time that they will be listened to. Every time na may 25-year franchise renewal, Doon lang pinapakinggan eh. Ah, yes, you have the, the courts, you have the labor arbiters, but how long does that take? 
And if it shows a pattern, hindi naman magdi-decide ang labor arbiter about that. Eh. ba? Diba? Yung social justice po, kasama po yan sa franchise. Kasi public utilities po ito. Some of my colleagues, some lang po to. Yes, this bill is important. No question about that. But it is but is it so important that you would lose all sense of objectivity and propriety? Again, huh? is it so important that you will lose all sense of objectivity and propriety? How dare you belittle the tremendous work this Congress has done in the past 10 months? Shame on you for insulting your own house and colleagues and calling your colleagues inutile and tamad. Despite having passed the 2020 General Appropriations Act, the Bayanian to Heal Us Act, uh, as one act, postponing the 2020 Barangay and Sangunian Kabataan elections, without, which turned out to be the right thing to do. Imagine kung mag election tayo during these times. The law for establishment of Malasakit Center, increasing and restructuring excise tax rates on alcohol, heated tobacco, and vapor products, that are now helping our government coffers and helping the health sector. Corporate Income Tax and Incentive Ratification, Rationalization Act, CITIRA, the Passive Income and Financial Intermediary Taxation Act, PIFITA, the creation of the Department of Filipino Overseas and Foreign Employment, the Real Property Valuation and Assessment Act, the creation of the National Academy for Sports, the Salary Standardization of 2019, Extending the 2019 budget to include the teachers and nurses and other things. Which, by way, eight of these ten that I have mentioned are part of the legislative priorities announced by the President nung 2019 SONA. And kung sino pa itong isa, dalawa o tatlo na tinawag tayong tamad at inutil, hindi ba kayo naman ang nagsasabing bukas na lang yan? Hindi ko pa nabasa yung bill na yan. I need a day more. Wag muna yung malasakit center next week na yan. Wag muna yung Department of Overseas next week na yan. Ngayon na kami nagsasabi na mas importante ang COVID-19 at paano natin i-defeat. Now na we're saying that feeding the people is more important, sasabihin nyo sa amin, forget everything, forget due process, and in one instance, ipasa na lang yung 25-year franchise. Let the people judge. Sino sa atin ang nagsasabi ng totoo at sino ang tama? To the senators, allow us to do our jobs. Remember, it is always easier to get 24 people to agree than for 300. Remember, we represent specific constituencies and sectors. And that is why the Constitution provides that franchise bills, like appropriations bills, will emanate from the House. But franchise bills enjoy the constitutional prerogative of exclusively emanating from the House. So we respect your work. But iba pananaw natin eh. National yung sa inyo. Sa amin may national. Pero nasa grassroots kami. Tinetext kami, pinupuntahan kami sa bahay, sa district office ng mga constituents namin. We want to work with you. We have to work with you. We've done great things together with you, our dear senators. We have to build our nation, but respect our timing and the manner of us holding our hearings. In other words, words let's all play nice. Let's not just pretend to be nice to each other. Sa mga dilawan, nothing I say will make you agree with me. You don't even agree on the facts. Simply because you think your opinions are law and are always correct. Former Senator Trilanes and you deserve each other. Kayo na lang mag-usap. Pero konting advice and take it from me. Don't disagree with him. Papatayan kayo ng mic. Sa mga DDS o diehard Duterte supporters, I know you want to shut down ABS-CBN. Believe me when I say I hear you. Many in this August Hall hear you. Congress hears you. As a friend and political ally of the President, 
part of the purpose of having this hearing is to make sure that history will judge our actions as just. Na may justicia po. And that the world will not blame the Duterte administration in case, in case the franchise application is denied. 